Hello and welcome to the last episode of our Power of Five. In this video, we're going to show you how to properly label your accounts. Starting on your dashboard, scroll down. We will be analyzing these two graphs, total accounts and industry leaderboard. In your total accounts pie graph, you can see a collective breakdown of all your industries you sell the most to and the number of campaigns associated to each one. Now in your industry leaderboard, here you have the full breakdown of your top industries based on revenue spent on your board. And these are clickable. Now in comparison to the total sales and campaign status, these two graphs can be seen per year as opposed to the total accounts and industry leaderboard. These two graphs are the total stats of all your campaigns. Now let's add an account together. Go to your accounts module on the left. This will bring you to all the accounts associated to your app. Now to add an account, click on the plus add account button on the right. Here you can input all the information of your new client. For this example, we use Samsung and I went ahead and pre-filled this information for us. Now here on the industry dropdown, this dropdown is very important as it helps generate your total accounts and industry leaderboard graphs on your dashboard. And as you can see here, it gives you a huge list of industries to choose from. Since this is Samsung, we're going to put it under technology. Now to finalize, click on the blue button on the bottom called create account. And this will send you back to your accounts. And as you can see, our account was successfully created. Now let's click back to our our dashboard. And as you recall, in our part one of our five part series, we sh showed you how to build a campaign. Please be sure that when you're building a campaign, you enter the clients fully in the accounts module to help generate the full graphs. These two graphs give you a full insight on your biggest valued customers based on their industry. We hope you enjoyed this five-part series. To recap, part one was building campaigns. Part two was adding creative and proof of play. Part three was generating performance reports. Part four, track the value of your sign. And this, part five, is properly labeling your accounts. If you have any questions regarding any of our five-part series, please email me or support at adsymbol.com. I'm always here and available to answer any questions. Thank you.